And here we are in our first video in our series on character development in Anime Studio. Notice that I'm starting from a blank page and what I am about to do here is I'm going to go to the uh, tools window where I'll select the add points tool. And this is going to allow me to uh, start adding points to create some basic rough shapes for our character design. I like to start out by adding just three points to work with at the start. Right? This will give me a rough shape that I can use and then I can go ahead and massage this shape into um, being. So here I hit the U button, that's a keyboard shortcut that uh, pops me into create shape mode. And so here I'm just going with the, uh, um, the fill color which I will go ahead and set to a nice fleshy tone for the um, face. All right, So this shape is going to eventually become the face of our character. And here what I'm doing now is uh, I'm going to start um, working with uh, some of the points. I'm going to add some points to this shape, right? Uh, which I do using the keyboard shortcut. So the A key on the keyboard lets you add points to your shape and now I can hit the T key on the keyboard uh, to go ahead and translate those points and in this way I can sort of sculpt uh, our character's head into shape. So here we see the beginnings of what is going to become a hairline and a beard for our Greek hero, right? So here I'm just uh, moving points about as I try to uh, massage this shape into a rough head. Alright, so once I have, once I'm satisfied with a, a, a basic uh, shape, I'm going to start adding some uh, details now. In fact, what you're going to see here is how we can overlay uh, one object uh, on top of another in Anime Studio. So here you see that I am uh, in the add points mode again and what I'm doing is I'm adding some lines on top of that basic head shape and what these new lines are going to allow me to do is to uh, create some new objects, right? some new shape objects right? overlaid on top of that basic underlying uh, head shape. Right, so here I'm going to go ahead and add an object that will eventually become the uh, character's hair. All right, so all I'm doing is uh, tweaking some points here, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go into the uh, create shape mode right, by hitting the U key, and now I'm shift selecting points. Right? So notice I get a new shape that's overlaid on top of the character's head. I do that by shift selecting points. Now all I'm doing is selecting a fill color. We'll give him a nice rich brown color as uh, you know, any Greek hero should have. right? And uh, we'll go ahead now and do the same for the beard. So again, I shift select uh, points to join them to the line I've overlaid on the face, and now we can create a new shape on top of the uh, underlying uh, head. Once again, I'll select uh, a fill color uh, for that beard, right? And uh, from this, you should get a sense of the the basic uh, shapes that are going to become um, the character's uh, head and and hair features.